Okay, so now that we're done kind of overviewing what it is that we're building and how some of the basic files work, it's time to make a few cool changes. So the first thing that I want to change is the color. So we've got this blue with this white background and pink floating buttons, and uh, that just doesn't do it for me. So if we go to our resources folder, our values, and we bring up colors, we have the color primary, color dark, and color accent. And what's really great is you see them over here on the side. And you can actually just click on them and say, I want the color accent color to be red, you know. So you can just drag it over there. and There you go. Choose that and change that color to red for you. And we want, uh, how about instead of blue, let's, uh, let's go with, um, actually, let's go with red, dark red here for that, and we'll go with a light red for this, and then we'll do our accent color actually in kind of an orange, orange color. There we go. All right. So if we save that, and we go back to our content main, we see that now, instead of having that blue and then and then we still have the white background but instead of that blue we now see this um, red that we just chose from our color and we also see our floating action button is no longer pink but now it is orange so um, pretty useful there so one of the things that we can do is we can also change the color of our constraint layout so a little bit confusing here, but we said that uh, our um, activity main was like the canvas that we're going to draw on. And then we have these little layouts. And inside of a layout, you can put things inside that layout. And uh, so essentially, it's a place that you can attach objects, is you have to first make a layout, and you choose different kinds, and uh, and then it will allow you to um, put things in there. So essentially, think of it like making shelves at work. You could uh, say, well, I'm making a DVD rack, so I want vertical shelves, you know, but they're really small shelves because they're just holding these little vertical DVD cases. And then you just might say, oh, well, you know, actually I want uh, horizontal shelves, and I'm going to put, you know, big... TV on it or something. So you have these different layouts that you can put in here. And there's a layouts button where you can choose the different kinds. You can have a horizontal or a linear, uh, framed, tabled. Uh, constraint layout is the default here. And it's essentially just trying to constrain everything essentially to the center of the screen, which is fine. And we look at this uh, constraint layout, and we look at our background, and we can actually choose a color for our background. So I, I might have done that a little too fast here, but we click on our constraint layout, and we click on our background here. There's these three little dots. We can change the color to be um, what we want. And so we have the project colors the accent, the primary, the dark. We have the normal Android colors, and then you have theme attributes, which can get a little bit interesting. We're just trying to keep it basic here. And we say we want the uh, background to be uh, black. We'll go with that. Well, that's pretty dark looking. All right, let's change that to be... How about... We'll just go with a darker gray. How about that? All right. So we've got this dark gray. And, um, you know, it's not the best looking app, but I'm just trying to show you the basics of how we do what we want to do. So we can save that. And now we have changed essentially all the colors of our app. We've changed the background. We've changed the title bar and the... Uh, uh, the colors for the primary and primary dark, which essentially make up the title bar up here. And then we've changed the accent color 
which changes the color of our button. And you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and make that red as well. We'll uh, try to keep it. Kind of more of the same here. I think that'll look a little better. There we go. So we've got our background changed and we've got our buttons changed to color and, and everything set properly here. Uh, you could also, uh, you know, go with a theme, you know, that's, uh, you know, do like black and, and something like that. Um, but uh, just the basics of how we're changing the color for our application.